Hey, beautiful people. My name is Diamond, and I am here in South Korea. I was given the question, what have I learned about myself during this pandemic? What I've learned about myself is that I can really go through things with Christ. I mean, literally anything. I really want to emphasize that because it's easy for us to say that we fully trust God or that we can fully depend on him. But when trouble comes, sometimes it's a different story. Of course, as a human being, the feelings may come, but we do not go by what we feel. We go by what the word of God says, which is a fuel to our faith. When the pandemic became really effective here, I was given a mandatory duty that needed to be executed. Now, I can't really go into details because of the type of job that I have, but let's just say it needed to be done. And I wasn't really in my room when everything popped off. Now, I mentioned that to say this, I had the opportunity to use my faith in God. I could have been like, why do I have to go do A, B, and C? What if I get the virus? Fear did not overcome me. I really did put my trust in the Lord and everything turned out to be good. But on top of that, I lost my grandmother to cancer. And that was one of the hardest things I ever been through. Seeing what cancer was doing to her physically, I felt defeated watching her um, dying. Even though she was dying physically, spiritually she was growing. She was getting closer to the Lord. I have peace knowing that she accepted Jesus as her savior. During that time, my faith was really challenged. However, it was the most beautiful, painful experience I've ever been through, watching her become humble. Of course, I wish things would have went a different way, but that did not stop me from trusting in the Lord and, and trusting his plan. His plan was for her to come home. Now, as a human being, I still struggle um, with that thought of the way that she died, but I fully trust in God and his purpose. Those of you that are listening, no matter what obstacle comes your way, no matter what you're facing, God is with you. Seek him, get into his word, praise him, spend quality time with him, a long time with him. It may be hard. You may get frustrated. You might be in that state of depression, but give it all to the Lord. Give yourself to him. I promise he will give you a joy like never before. Since I mentioned getting in the word of God, do you have a scripture in your heart? his words that moves you, that you think about, that you can memorize just like that? Do you have his words to stand on? I stand on Philippians 4.13, King James Version. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Know that you are not alone. You do have a purpose. You woke up this morning, right? Which tells me that God has a plan for you. But I pray that this doesn't tear you down, if anything, that this pandemic and all the things that is going on in this world builds you for the kingdom of God. All of these things that are taking place, I'm talking about the crazy things that are going on in this world, is all part of God's plan. I challenge you to seek God. I challenge you to open that word. I challenge you to reach out to others, share your testimony, build others. I rebuke that spirit of fear, spirit of doubt out of your life. I love you all. Hope that you receive this message. I'm out.